Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. As you've already seen in the title, it's time for another LACO talk. Robust, resistant and ready for use at any time. With the LACO Atacama, you've got a watch that you can rely on. More on that, as always, after the intro. Once again, we welcome you from our LACO showroom here in Pfotzheim, with a familiar face in front of the camera. Zara Roman is with me again. Hello, Amina. Hello, Zara. Nice to have you back. We have already talked about our sport and squad watches in a previous video. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can find the link here. Today, we would like to continue our previous talk with another squad watch, the Atacama. For anyone who is asking themselves why this watch is called a squad watch, that is because it was developed in cooperation with squad forces. Please tell us a bit about the idea behind this, Sarah. Yes, as you know, there are different kinds of squad forces, for example, the police, the fire department and the military. And they came to us and said, we need a watch that is equipped to meet all of our requirements. That means that the watch must function under the harshest conditions. The Seven Seas is also a squad watch. What are the differences between the two watches? Actually, the two watches have relatively many differences and also not much in common, although they are both LACO squad watches. The Atacama has a conical case, which makes it very ergonomic. The crown at the 12, which was done at the expense of waterproofing, I'll say, is waterproof up to 50 ATM. And in contrast to that, we have the 7 Cs, waterproof up to 100 ATM, making it very robust, heavy and larger. So everyone must decide for themselves what requirements they have for the watch. Now we're going to go through all the elements more specifically. What is exceptional and very special is the conical shape that you've already mentioned. We haven't had something like this before. What is the context to this? As I already mentioned in the beginning, the different squad forces, such as the police, the military and others, came to us and set their requirements to the watch. And one of those requirements was that the watch sits well on the wrist and is hardly noticeable. I can demonstrate it to you now. When you put the watch on your wrist, you can rotate your wrist completely and the watch doesn't interfere. The crown at the 12 is very fitting, as it doesn't push into the back of the hand like some other watches with a large crown. And that's what leads to the conical shape. On the top, it's 46 millimeters, meaning the countdown bezel. That means that the contact area on the wrist is actually relatively small. So there's really no reason to be reserved. Now we will talk about the bezel on the case. You just briefly mentioned the rotating bezel that we already know. But this bezel is different. Here we have a countdown function. How exactly does that work? As opposed to many other squad or sport watches, here we have a countdown bezel, as you just said. That means it goes counterclockwise. Exactly. You can demonstrate it here. As you can see, it goes counterclockwise, and it functions as follows. Here you have the orange minute hand, and you set it, for example, to 20 minutes. Depending on when the operation is going to take place. Exactly. It is meant to coordinate joint operations, practically when they start. If you set the orange hand to 20 minutes, you will see exactly after 20 minutes, when orange is on orange, that you can begin. Then the operation begins. Okay, and because the minute hand is orange and filled with superluminova, we can accurately tell the time at night as well. Zara, let's stay with the case. Here we have a stainless steel case with black PVD coating in order to avoid reflections. Exactly. And in addition, it recedes into the background during the operation. That means, except for the glowing elements, which are coated with superluminova, that really are in the foreground and are clearly legible, it doesn't stand out. So, almost as to hide it in the background. And that effect is increased by the matte black dial with the Arabic numerals. Here we have a white date display to go back to the superluminova. We also have different luminous materials here. The minute hand has orange luminous material, the hour hand is green. What advantage does that grant us? 
The minute hand with the orange luminous material fits perfectly with the triangle at the 12. The hour hand fits with our indexes. Another advantage is that it is possible to read the time from a flat angle. That means you can distinguish the two hands well by their color at a glance. So that you can distinguish it by night and by day. On the front and the back is sapphire crystal, which we already know. Again, I want to talk about the position of the crown here at the 12. As we talked about shortly before, as this is exceptional and special and we haven't had anything like this before. With what context was this chosen? It is together with the conical shape a result of a very ergonomical case, I'll say. The front of the watch is 46 millimeters, and we hear it again and again at trade fairs that 46 millimeters is way too large for your own wrist. But when you put the watch on your wrist with the crown at the 12 and the conical shape of the case, nothing pushes into it. So even if it was possible to use it at a 90 degree angle, nothing would push into the hand. <laughs> the movable lugs are what contribute to the comfort. They are screwed into the case. They also increase the ergonomics because they are not rigid parts on the case, but are movable and screwed in, as opposed to the strap that is not screwed in and as opposed to the seven C's, which has a screwed strap. This is because the squad teams have told us that the watch needs a predetermined breaking point in case they get stuck somewhere, so that it rips under strong tension, which would be the spring stencils, which is why they are not screwed. But it really has to be a very strong tension during normal everyday use it should be fine. So you can see that even when I pull on it strongly, nothing tears. But in an emergency, if something should happen, the watch will come off. <laughs> Rather the watch than the arm itself. We can see that this watch has a screwed back. The advantage of screwed elements is the waterproofness. Here we have a waterproofness of 50 atm, so up to a water depth of 500 meters. That means that the watch will make it through any operation. Let's stay with the technical data. Which movement is used here? Here we have the automatic movement LACO 200, which is based on the Swiss movement Solida SW200. And you can see well through the crystal back. What power reserve do we have here with this movement? We have at least 38 hours, but it usually runs for a few hours extra. And you can upgrade the movement to top. So either élaboré or top. You will be able to choose that on our LACO website or have it attached here in person. We are getting close to the end now. What else can you tell us about the strap? The strap has been developed specially for the Atacama, so to say. You can see the embossed LACO logo. Additionally, we have a black clasp that fits perfectly with the case. And the special thing is that we can offer two sizes and lengths, depending on what size of wrist the customer has. By default, the strap is made for a wrist circumference of 14 to 20 centimeters. If you prefer the longer version, you can put that in the comments or talk to one of our many dealers. Suitable to the robust watch is the robust packaging. There is our familiar travel case. We have reached the end. Zara, thank you so much for this talk. You're welcome. And thanks a lot to you, our viewers, for watching. And with that, I'll say goodbye. Until next time.